It seems like only yesterday we parted With our friends, the Max and the Romances FaceTime will be just a memory, memory A life you unraveled mm -hmm. And story finally ends, it finally ends FaceTime will be just a memory, memory now I know I'm going to get in the comments that you suck and why are you singing and you don't know the words. I'm just singing what I know and I know I'm singing bits and pieces from different parts of the song. Anyways, it's White Cats Vlogs. It's October 1st, 2013 and I am going to do on request Say by the Bell um, reviews. So our first one is Say by the Bell, the old class. Um, this is all I have from that class. I know there's more discs, but this is all I can find as of right now. When I find the others, I will definitely put them in my collection right over here. Um, we have Say the Bell Disc 1 and 2. I don't know what season that is. Um, or anything, because it doesn't say on the discs. Um, I don't even know if... This disc 3 goes with either this or this. I just don't know. And this one is season 1, disc 2. Season 1, disc 2. So I don't know if these go with it. I just don't know. If you know in the comments down below, let me know. And then we got season 2, 4, and 5. As you know, there's more discs, but this is all I can find. So let's get started with the review on this. So, here we go. If you've never seen Saved by the Bell, which they have played on TV since the 90s, started with Saturday night, or Saturday morning shows. No, they started with New Class on that. Um, I don't know when it used to be on. I know it used to be on TBS and, and some other channels, and they used to play reruns of it all the time. Currently, right now, on MTV2... You can watch reruns from, I think, 11 and on. From like 11 to 1 or something during the weekdays. It's on. It started out, I, I, from the backstory that I've heard of, it started about out on Disney called Good Morning Miss Bliss. Where it started out with this, where it's just about the teacher interacting with the students well the ratings were going bad people weren't liking it so much and the writers went back to writing and they realized let's call it saved by the bell and have it more about the students going to school than the teacher and we'll see how that goes and I apparently it got transferred to like ABC or NBC or something like that and they changed Good Morning Miss Bliss to Saved by the Bell and took out all the scenes with the teachers and just left in all the scenes with the kids with Zach Morris who, and Lisa Turtle and Screech Powers. Those are three main characters that's been in every single episode of Saved by the Bell until the college years. And we'll get into that in a few minutes. Um, then they had these other characters. Oh yeah, and Jesse Spano. Two. She was in every single episode besides the um, Good Morning Miss Bliss. Um, wait, I don't even know what I'm talking about now. I'm spacing off. Sorry about that. Anyways, so each episode was always Zach being in mischief and doing, mitch and doing bad things to get what he wants. And he always had Screech tag along behind him, helping him, and telling him keep the secret. And then he would blurt it out anyways. And he'd get in trouble by Mr. Belding, who's been in every episode as well. And Mr. Belding would be, you know, always putting him in detention. And Mr. Belding's the one that always goes, hey, 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 what's going on here? Um... Also, Miss Bliss, the person, that, the, the actor that played Miss Bliss, was also in Parent Trap 2. 
played a twin, played the twins as an adult. And I got blue on my arm and didn't even know it. Anyways, so then when they got into junior high and high school with A.C. Slater, Kelly Kapowski, Jesse Spano, they all were like there on the show for a long, long time. And then there was a couple of episodes where Jesse and Spano and Kelly Kapowski didn't want to be part of the show anymore. So they took those two out and put in a biker chick named Tori. And then when graduation came along, they've already, they already filmed graduation. So they took out, so Tori wasn't a part of that. Only Lisa and Jesse were. And they decided that when they decided to keep going with the show, they decided we'll just use this toy person. Maybe they won't notice. We'll do the graduation at the very end when we cancel a show. Blah, blah, blah. And what happened was not a very good thing. But it's kind of weird that they never showed them like having jobs, whoever working like at the mall or or anything. But they always showed like them at the max, you know, doing things at the max or having dances and stuff like that. They never showed them outside the school except for like their bedrooms. And the one thing that really got to people was when Zach would be like when Zach and Jesse Spano because Zach would always come through Jesse's window through his tree because they're next door neighbors and she would do the same to his. But they always talked about how when we were little kids, when we were little kids, it's like writers, we're not stupid. The people that are watching the show are pretty smart and we know that when we were watching the show <clears throat> that, that when Good Morning Miss Bliss came about, there was no Jesse Spano. So you saying since we were kids, that's no. But Zach would always go out with the popular girl in school, which is Kelly Kapowski. Of course, there was A.C. Slater, who was the jock, did all the sports, and was fighting for Kelly at first, and then decided to go out with the smart girl, which is Jesse Spano who is all about saving the trees and the forest and save the paper and recycle and go to school and stuff like that. And then they, um, and then, um, then there was Lisa who was, I love fashion and, and Screech had a crush on her and all that stuff. And, Yes, Screech did have a girlfriend named, oh, I can't remember her name, but she plays, she's Tori Spelling, who played in 90210 as Donna Martin, so, but she played a nerd. They were dating on the show and stuff, and after they graduated, they, they started doing, um, the, the Say by the Bell, the college years, where it was just with A.C. Slater. Kelly Kapowski, Screech, and, he, and Zach Morris. Those are the only four people that continued with the show. And then they had other girls with the show. And it just showed them doing the same old stuff they did in high school, in college. And then, and then when there was no Kelly and no Jesse for the, a little period of time and there was Tori, Zach and AC had this that that we could get, they could get Tori to kiss him first. Then Zach started falling in love with Tori, and then they started dating and went on from there. And there was a little scene with Lisa's fashion show where her and Zach kissed, but they didn't do anything about it or on it or nothing, which doesn't make any sense, but they didn't do anything about it. In the college years, they did something about it, or they didn't do anything about it. Then the college years, they did go to... They had Las Vegas wedding. They yes, in high school they did do a um, mystery house. They did do that, and they did um, 
do a summer job at the salad beach place, whatever, and then went to Jesse's dad's wedding. They did do that. But um, in college, they did the wet Las Vegas wedding so that Zach and Kelly could get married. And so that was pretty cool. I don't remember the ending of that series or anything. If you do, comment down below. I'll make a video response. And comment down below that you made a video response and the name of it. And I'll go to your channel and watch it. And tell people to check it out. And give you a shout out. Okay, I'm done talking about Save the Bell. Now we're going to go to Save the Bell, the new class. So click here and go to that video. And I will talk to you people later. Good damn bye.